Hello, welcome back and to another RC stuff video. So today I thought I'd show you my Escort Cosworth Tamiya, it's a uh, 58112 model, all original, um, original body shell, you know it hasn't been painted, I'll show you a bit more of that in a, in a moment. Um, I've done a few upgrades on it, but I've got everything original will come off of this. Um, it's still in the box sort of thing. And uh, like I say, this is an original Tamiya body shell. Hasn't been painted, hasn't been drilled for the mirrors. All the mirrors are still in the packet. I'll show you them in a minute. Yeah, so this is my East Court Cosworth. Right, so. Like I say, it's all original, there's a few mods to it, um, but I'll show you what I've done. And like I say, I've got everything to put it back as standard. So, I'll take the polish off first. Uh, this is a TA01 chassis. Um, it hasn't done a lot. I, did, I have got another um, body shell I put on this um, when I have used it. Not a cost worth body shell, it's just another cheap body shell for eBay. And uh, yeah, so we'll start off with the tyres. These are original um, tyres. These will come on the first version. I think the uh, uh, Michelin one and the uh, one after, I can't think what that was. Um, that had normal uh, block tyres, but these these had like the tractor tyres. I don't know what the proper name of them was. But uh, these are original. They're done about 20 feet on a carpet, that's about all they've done so that's all like so original the only problem I've got with the wheels is the I don't know how you can see it, the glue's sort of gone brown where the stickers are, with the off stickers um, but uh, yeah, not long to do about that, I'll clean it, I don't think, it, I think it'll just scrape off so I have full ball raced it so it's got all bearings in it all throughout. You see the little plastic blocks that come with it. Oh, uh, hopeless. They do the job, don't they? Uh, I took the uh, manual speed controller off because, and the, and the regulator, what fits on here, because I use obviously an electric speed control, I did. It's now got a, a 15 turn motor point down here I can't really see a um, 15 turn motor and a little fan called cooler on it but, um, I've got like I say the original I'll get the original motor out there you go let's see original motor never used like I say, it's never been used the same with um, looks like these the cockpit it's had the head screwed on and that is it and that's like, like new. But, um, yeah, no, nothing's been painted on it. Got the uh, door mirror, oh, so everything you're looking at is original. From around 1993, I believe. Um, now, I've got the sticker kit with it, but it is missing some of the stripes because I bought this second hand, I actually bought this at a boot sale um, it would be early 90s so it would have been about 93, 94 I reckon and um, I was looking for one of these and I just happened to see this one at a boot sale and the bloke had used it as a shelf queen so it got the um, cockpit in and the body shell on it and it got the stripes put or some of the stripes put on the body shell but um, when I got it back, they were peeling. They've been put on really poorly. And um, <laughs> yeah, so I took, the, I took them off with the plans to buy another um, set of stickers. But I've got the original stickers. To show them. I'll tell you what I paid for it in a second. It's a bit of rattling. And the original stickers, apart from the, the stripes. We'll see in there's a little bit of new clipping what the bloke put in there as well. A bit of an escort fan he was. And 
if I can I'll get a picture of this later up on put on there about the original Escort and uh, that's, a, that's a later one that is actually because that's on a K plate K57 I think I've actually got pictures of that because I went to see that um, yeah long story about my other motorsport in things in real life <laughs> um, yeah so I've got all the stickers there apart from the stripes the stripes for it now like I say this was a shelf queen and the bloke built in obviously they were quite dear at the time I can't remember how much they were but they were quite dear and um, he had it on a shelf but his girlfriend didn't like it or something so he took it to the boot sale and I know this is from back, way back then but I he, he put it up for £35 and I stood there and I argued this out I think actually it was a lot more than that started with but it was £35 and I walked away from it yeah you imagine walking away now from an escort cost worth in, in you know with all this original stuff on it and like I say it didn't add all, everything was original then and um, yeah £35 so I walked away from it and I walked around the boots and when I come back the um, some other bloke was arguing with him trying to pay him 15 quid and uh, in the end I think he offered him 25 pound for it and I said well I'll give you 25 pound he said well as soon as you hassled me for for so long for a couple of hours um, <laughs> I'll take 25 for it so I paid for 25 for this and I had the uh, handset as well 25 notes so uh, yeah, I wonder if you can get hold of one of these now. In fact, write in the comments. Let me know what you think this is worth. I might even get, because I'm thinking that I might even get rid of this actually, because now uh, um, it's at the stage where it's got to be worth a few quid, and I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> I, I don't use these wheels. I use, or well, last time I used it, I used a set of these. Um, these are sort of sticky tyres and they were pretty good. But like I say I only used the chassis. I think it's pretty clean under there, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few little light marks that would polish out. But it's not bad at all, is it? It's got a bit of sticky tape on there, I don't know what that is for. Um Yeah, so that's why it's called Cosworth. Um I've got another one of these chassis, or very similar chassis. I think it's, it's, oh, it's the O2 version I've got as well. With another car on it, I'll show you a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, that is my Escort Cosworth. So, um, yeah, so let me know what you think it's worth. Um, like, so I've got all the original gear to go on there. I was going to show you, but um, I don't want to make the video too long. And plus we might end up, we'll, we'll get this one running up on another video once I find all my all my radio gear. I've spent two days now pulling all my cars out and I've still got a uh, an original Mark, uh, well Grasshopper 2, but I can't find. <laughs> I can't find it so I'm not too sure what that is but um, I've got quite a few Tamiya's to come uh, if you like this sort of stuff. Right, just thought I'd show you some of the original stickers what come with the kit. Right, so these are all original. I'll put them back in the bag in a second so they don't get messed up. But um, yeah, so this is why it's called Cosworth. Like I say, it is original. It is an original body shell. It hasn't been drilled for the mirrors. Um, I believe now you can get the Cosworth um, shells and that again. Back when I first um, had this, you just couldn't get hold of the parts. Or late, I said first got. I went back in the early sort of two thousands. You just couldn't get nothing for these um, because everybody was grabbing them, you know. Because as soon as something come up, I've got some brand new uprights, um, Tamiya. All everything's from Tamiya. Um, new uprights um, and some other bits pieces. I bought some spare ones. I actually bought one with a broken chassis. Um, so I've got a spare set of diffs, you know, back axles, and uh, yeah, it's quite, you know, 
Like, so back then you can get, but I've noticed on eBay you can get a lot more stuff for these now than what you could put have gone into making them again. What is got to be good because they keep the cars going. Right, if you like this sort of stuff and you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell. You know, you, you know the drill. And um, yeah, take it easy, and I will see you next Sunday with another vintage Tamiya. Hopefully. <laughs> See you soon. Take it easy.